Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but Donkey of the Day is a new one. Yes, Donkey of the Day for Tuesday, June 13th goes to the president of PETA, Ingrid Newkirk. Drop one of the clues bombs for Ingrid Newkirk. Ingrid. Ingrid doesn't even know she's really one of my favorite people. I love what she stands for and what she is committed to. She runs the world's largest animal rights organization. And if I know her like I think I do, she is probably highly offended by the fact that I use the term donkey as an insult, uh, as a means to give someone the credit they deserve for being stupid. Not because humans shouldn't be called dumb, but because donkeys should not be labeled as dumb because PETA opposes what it calls a speciesism or a human supremacist worldview. Speciesism is the assumption of human superiority leading to the exploitation of animals. I actually agree with that, I do. Even though I do believe in the circle of life, uh, I promise you, Ingrid, when that amazing piece of red snapper or my my is on my plate, I thank God for it. I don't feel superior to it at all. I feel privileged and blessed to eat it. That's why when it comes to red snapper, I like it still with its head on and its eyes open. I actually think it's disrespectful to be head of fish before you eat it, but that's another convo. Now, the reason Ingrid is getting donkey today this morning is because Ingrid is actually encouraging us to eat flesh. I know, Ingrid, this is not your intention, but this is what you're doing. What do you mean, Uncle Charlotte? The president of PETA is encouraging us to eat flesh. Well, I'll tell you what I mean. I came across this New York Post article with the headline, PETA president explains why she wants her flesh to be barbecued after she dies. Hmm? I just piqued the interest of all our cannibalistic listeners. Somewhere right now, there is a cannibal listening to us eating a nice bowl of grits and legs this morning, and they're like, tell me more. Well, Ingrid Newkirk said she updated her will to include a request for her flesh to be cooked and for her body parts to be transformed into activist messages after she dies. She's not joking. She's as dead ass as a deceased donkey. Would you like to hear her explain? Well, let's go to Fox News Digital for the report, please. Deathly serious because the issues are so serious. We see terrible things done to animals. People don't see that. And you can't really tell people about the gore nonstop. So I thought I'll continue my activism in a sort of provocative, gimmicky way, but making very serious points that we're all the same under the skin. You can barbecue my flesh mm. and you'll smell it cooking with those onions and you'll think, oh, I want some of that. And then you'll think, oh no, it's her. And please don't eat any flesh. Here are the vegan alternatives, the vegan hot dogs, the vegan hamburgers, the vegan fish, the vegan steak, the vegan chicken. It's all available now. And so we'd hope to change their minds without having them to put me in their mouth. <laughs> mm -mm. Ingrid thinks that uh, if it's if it's her we know we're eating or if it's her skin we know that is on these products you know we won't use it i understand exactly what you're trying to do ingrid but i have to let you know it's been done before a great book to read is the delectable negro human consumption and homoeroticism within a uh, u.s slave culture written by vincent woodward the book breaks down human cannibalism that occurred during slavery in the united states yes white male slave owners used to eat the flesh of black men and ingrid i'm sure you know the flesh of dead africans and african americans were used to make shoes and i'm sure you know after world war ii it was reported that nazis used skin from murdered concentration camp inmates to, to make lampshades i'm saying all that to say ingrid none of that stopped anybody from eating animal flesh or using animal products because if you have a hunger for flesh, human, animal, or otherwise, you're going to get your fix. And this is why I believe your plan is going to backfire. Because, Ingrid, the way you described how you want to be cooked in the onions sounds tasty. And I promise you, if you're offering up your flesh as a meal, we're going to have a barbecue. Okay, Pete Davidson is organizing it right now. All right, Ingrid said she wants to be cooked specifically with onions. Why stop there, Ingrid? Let's do a half cup of white onions, eight dill pickle slices, one cup of barbecue sauce. We're going to add about a quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, three tablespoons of water. We're going to get four to six inch center split white sandwich rolls. Mm and 16 ounces of uncooked Ingrid meat, and we're gonna make us a meal called the McPeter in your honor. It's gonna look just like the McRib, okay, when we done. And believe me, sweetie, we're gonna have enough to feed the needy. Eat Ingrid, I hear you, I really do. When you say you're trying to raise the point that flesh is flesh, I get it. And you're probably right. And that's why you can't just be offering yourself up to be barbecued, because when someone tastes you and says, tastes just like chicken, now, because of you, they're going to be looking for another kind of meat to be added to the menu. You can't be out here serving yourself up all barbecued and tasty, expecting people not to eat you. Now, the only difference I can see, Ingrid, 
when we serve you up, it's going to have to be in slices. Okay, can't serve you like Red Snapper. We're going to have to behead you. That would be just a bit too much. But what I'm trying to get you to understand, Ingrid, the only thing folks care about when it comes to flesh is does it taste good? We don't eat animals because we are monsters who can't control ourselves. We eat animals because they are tasty. At the least, at least the ones I've tried, I've had chicken, fish, turkey, deer, bear, shoulder, squirrel, dumplings, cow, of course, lamb, ox, goat, and every single one of them are tasty. It's that simple. So Ingrid, if you really don't want people to eat flesh, don't offer them more to put on the menu. Because if I ground you up into a patty, you just mystery meat at that point. In fact, Ingrid, you will be impossible meat because it will be impossible for folks to tell the difference between you and every other animal product out there. Especially when I add this carbone sauce to it. You see this right here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think you I think you would take you would taste great in a lasagna, Ingrid. Okay, I don't know if we should just keep it at barbecue. I got tomato, basil, I got marinara. How you pronounce that, Envy? What is that, abracadabra? Arabrabita? Sounds right. Whatever it is, we got it. All I'm saying is when we add this, Ingrid, you ain't gonna be able to tell the difference. Please give Ingrid Newkirk, the president of PETA, the sweet sounds in the Hamiltons. You are the donkey mm. of the day. You hungry? No. Oh. I'll pass. Okay. Actually, you still up in my mouth. You did? Mm. Wow. Mm. Hungry, Lou? No, sir. Okay. Mm. Not at all. All right. All right. Well, I guess thanks for that donkey today. Angry, come up here whenever you're ready. I'm going to have the chef here. <laughs> you shut up, man. Just in case. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> I'm going to have right. the chef here just in case, Ingrid. <laughs> All, All right. right. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today. Everybody on BET, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.